Hey kids, so I'm out here in my front yard. Uh, I'm gonna show you, so I'm gonna talk a little bit quiet here, uh, but I wanna just show you how to change your windshield wipers. If you've never done that before, um, they come off fairly easy and they go on pretty easy. Um, my style is a, a loop style. It's got a little loop on it and you'll see that in the video, but I'm just gonna walk you through that. First, I have a dad joke for you. <laughs> so did you hear about the guy that invented lifesavers? Yeah, they say he made a mint. Ah. So anyway, um, yeah, I'm just going to walk you through this real quick. It doesn't, shouldn't take very long, especially if you've done it a few times uh, and then you'll get the hang of it. But here's another dad tip for you. You know, if you go into an auto parts store, a lot of those people are very helpful. And so if you buy it at an auto parts store, um, you can ask them, hey, could you come out and show me uh, how to do that or do it for me? Just, but make sure. So here's the real dad tip. Make sure you do it when they're not busy. If they've got 10 or whatever people, you know, 10 or 20 people that they're trying to get through the register and that sort of thing, uh, you, you're probably not going to have any luck. But if you go there, maybe when it's early in the morning or, you know, when it's just a quiet time for them, that would be the time to ask uh, for their help. So, but hopefully you'll learn how to do it yourself. Uh, yeah. And like I've shared uh, in my, um, in a couple of my videos, there's certain things like if you go to get your oil changed, a lot of times they'll say, Hey, can I change your wipers for you? Can I change your, you know, you got a tail light out. I'm going to actually show you how to do a tail light as well, as well. So you um, don't end up paying way more than you need to for that. But wipers is another one that's fairly easy and you can, you can do it yourself. So anyway, let's get started. Okay. So I'm going to change the windshield wipers on my 2009 Sonata. And what it says is, um, so I'm using these Michelin ones that I got at Costco. And what it says is uh, 24 inch for the driver side. It says a D for driver side, 24 inch. And then the passenger side is 20 inch. And we'll just walk you right through um, what that looks like. Okay, this is pretty straightforward, but I'm just gonna walk you through it. So you just flip up the, the wiper blade and then you um, on this particular one, it has little lips that I can just kind of grab a hold of and pop off. It'll snap back like that. And then it actually just slides down and there's a little hook on this. Okay, so I'm just gonna slide it this way. Okay. Like that. And then that's what you're left with is just that hook. Let me try to get a different view of that so you can see it. Can you see that? See, that's what that hook looks like. It's got a little loop on it. So that's this style. There are different styles, but both my cars have this. And so that's what I'm gonna show you. Okay, so it comes out of the package. Uh, basically like this and you get a couple more adapters. I'm not going to mess with those because that isn't um, for my style. And so it looks to me like this is probably the most common style, the kind that I have. And so it comes with this little, this little spacer here to keep it apart so that it doesn't snap in. Cause all we're going to do, we're just going to take that out. Okay. And see, same, let me just show you this up close. See, that's what it looks like. Cause if, if this was removed, that would be snapped down on there and then you'll have to get it <laughs> get it to unsnap okay which isn't a big deal but anyway so so then all you got to do we're going to remove that and then we just basically do exactly what we just did with the with removing the previous one we're going to slip that hook up inside there put it down and then we're just going to snap that close and that's all there is to it and then we just got to remove this protective cover but let's wait on that so we're going to get up in here like that okay and then we're gonna slide it down so now it's in place okay let me try to move that a little bit closer okay I'm gonna do it again we're gonna pop it off okay okay so now we're just gonna stick that inside there like that that loop okay like that and then we're gonna slide it forward like that Okay, and then you snap this down. Like that. That's all there is to it. Now we're gonna remove that protective covering. There you go, that one's done. Okay, we're gonna show you the other side now, and this is this one. 
it's got a little bit different style. The other one had a, few, a couple flanges on it that you popped out. Kind of the same thing here though, okay? So now we're back, right? So we lift up that piece there, and then we just gotta kinda work it out, okay? And then you're left with, with that hook again. I think you can see that hook pretty good. Yeah, so it's just a loop on it, okay? Now, let's take our other one out. And again, it comes with these other adapters, but you don't need them if this is your style, if this is the style that you have. And see how we got that, that spacer again? It's keeping it from snapping. So we're gonna open that up, okay? And then we're gonna pull that out. And then we're gonna push this on. Okay, we're gonna push it on like that. Okay, and then just pull it down. Pull it down, okay? And then we're snapping it on. That's all there is to it. And then we're gonna remove this protective covering and you're in business. Okay, I hope that was helpful for you. Yeah, it's, it's pretty basic, um, unless you have another style that I wasn't able to show because I don't have that style. Uh, but anyway, I think, uh, especially if you, you can take a look at yours and see if you have the loop style, because they're fairly easy to just pop off and pop back on, you can check first and then decide if you want to do it yourself. Uh, anyway, I hope this was helpful for you. Thanks for watching and God bless you.